let's start out first with a disclaimer. In making this video, I am representing myself, not the nonprofit for whom I do contract work, not Sam Young, just myself. We've been getting a lot of crap in our inbox where I work. Crap from both sides. If you happen to have been under a rock in the past week, there is a legal case in Scotland. It just wrapped up. And as an admin, I'm always looking for something to post on a daily basis. I knew nothing about this, but I used common search terms like Mormon, abuse, bishop, and April 2022. So my first post for the nonprofit's Facebook page was to show what the headlines were as the case was in trial. As I have done as an admin with other cases, when there is a verdict, I post an update. Holy Mother Mary of God, baby Jesus bathtub water. You would have thought that I pulled down the pants of Russell M. Nelson. There are people coming in droves, droves. They're going behind my back to Sam Young. They're going behind my back to the other admin. Like a widow baby running to his daddy. If you have a fucking problem, say so. The, the big brouhaha from those who support the accused who were found not guilty by a jury is that we even posted the story at all. Methinks thou protest too strongly. If they are innocent, why are you worried? On the other side are survivors of abuse and the victims who went to trial against the people who they said abused them. What, are we supposed to shut up victims' voices now? Or should I say, again? And the hilarious thing is that it's triggering for me. Ah, uh, did somebody get accused and don't want all this stuff spread all over the world and the news? Guess what? I was excommunicated. I was publicly judged. I was the Mormon Church's version of Monica Lewinsky in Michigan. I was judged without my consent, with nobody coming to talk to me, the public court of opinion within and without the Mormon church. So don't come to me fucking expecting pity, especially if you were found innocent. Some of us victims never are. And when we fight for our voices to be heard and for our accusers to be seen for what we have experienced, somehow we're the bad guy. So when I post to my nonprofit's page with this particular story, I didn't editorialize on purpose because it was triggering. So fuck you.